Great to meet you. Great to meet you. And what time did you get here? I got here just a little bit before, just about five o'clock. This is what democracy looks like. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. So when did you get here? Uh, about uh, 5.50 this morning. You know, everybody's been so friendly and everybody's yeah. just kind of hanging out. So how many cards have you collected so far do you think? Quite a bit. <laughs> Quite a bit, oh my goodness. So how many uh, mounted uh, patrols do we have today? Well we have two of us here today. Um, I don't see any right now but yes, there are some of them too. So, so mainly you're volunteers but uh, how many uh, uh, full-time uh, deputies. Full-time deputies. Yeah. Uh, no. uh, several. Main, mainly volunteers today. No, no, no. Mainly, deputies mainly, mainly deputies. Oh, okay. But yeah, you're 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 for you're for uh, uh, crowd crowd control and, and entertainment basically. What Trump's going to bring is a secure board. We're going to finally have a secure board. Yeah. Yeah. So the answer is yes, yes, but not in April necessarily. We'll, have, we'll, we'll plan it out, but absolutely. We'll do a larger town hall at a... At a, at a where? Yeah, it, it, we'll, we'll, we'll post it. Everybody will know. It'll be, it'll be great again. So I just want to know how you're going to support the people in your district, your constituents, who are dramatically affected by this. They're, they're often most vulnerable. So specifically, I'd like you to speak to the age-based tax credits instead of... Uh, the way the ACA is structured now, and how you plan to address that when your constituents will be Obamacare is falling apart and has raised insurance costs. This is nothing that I have not said in this room every year, over and over, since I got into office. I've been saying the exact same thing. There's, there's nothing new here. It's, it, you're not exactly like I became a conservative Republican yesterday. Syrian refugees who are not vetted have come over before I Iraqis that served in the U.S. Army actually for years. Who's, I'm just telling you how it is. You can do it. You can do it on that. That's okay. I'd like to have you comment on the possibility of making a, a permanent, permanent immigration ban and vetting on all foreign nations. I'd like to see if there's a possibility of maybe just making a blanket situation like we did about 100 years ago. The reason this question is valid is because now, if, even if you're in Germany, I hear you, thank you. Even if you're from Germany now, we, we, can't, guarantee, we can't guarantee that the German government vetted you. We, we can't tell if you're now a radical Islamist in France that drove that van and, and killed dozens of people, with 80 something people. We, we can't tell anymore. So why not put a vetting system in that's fairly easy for these other countries because from uh, Europe and other nations that actually have have governments, uh, unlike the six nations that we have the travel ban on, if you have a government, you can vet the people that want to come here. Why, why not do that? Why not make America safe as safe as we possibly can? What's wrong with waiting 10 days? 